all the demon families are gathering right now. But don't worry, because CardKingdom.com has got what you need for Streets of New Capenna. Go get your singles, go get your sealed product, get whatever you need at CardKingdom.com. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Single Scoop. This is going to be our first dive into what is Explorer. Uh, it's pretty much going to be Pioneer without a few sets. And we're missing a few key pieces, actually, of the Grixis midrange deck that I normally like playing in Pioneer. Uh, but also, before we go into all of that, you may be noticing that I'm missing on the bottom right corner of your screen. That's because I've got some bad USB ports and I need to figure out how to repair my PC so my camera doesn't lag. But in the meantime... Uh, just imagine like a blue toupee. That's it. But yeah, we're, uh, as I had mentioned, we're missing some key pieces. We're missing Kalidus and whatnot. And I think that's probably one of the biggest things that gives us our mid-range threat. Uh, we are trying a new card in Maestro Charm. Uh, I'd like to try out a few other things from the Maestros, but uh, right now for sure the Charms and all the Charms really, I feel like have a place already just set in uh, Pioneer. And other than that, we're using the Nico Bolas package as you'd uh, come to expect, and uh, hopefully we'll grind our opponents out with these, and then on top of that, Goblin Dark Dwellers looping some of the spells like Coligan's Command, etc., etc. So, thanks for watching uh, this intro, and uh, let's get right to the video. I'll keep. This seems really good. What's one way to open up the video? I have a thought seize. Okay, so they might thought seize me, but hmm. If they, they're probably taking thought seize, that means they're a control deck. Okay, so they're a control deck. I'm now probably disadvantaged until I find one of my answers here, or one of my threats. Oh, that's interesting. So if they have Soren, they can minus. I believe they're Grixis vampires. And funny enough, I actually cannot kill a Xander. Do they have counter magic? I guess that's not bad, but now we see what they do. Oh, this is a little scary. Yeah, like I, I actually just cannot beat a Xander. I have like two removal spells, I think. Pass. So now I hold on to... I, I I just don't know how I beat a Xander here. I have seven cards. I discard three, I believe, if they find it. Yup. Yeah, they have Xander. Okay, so how do I beat a Xander? I have to... Minus. I mean, I could take the hit. Ah, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna just go for Shadow's Verdict. If they have it, they have it. If they have a Spell Pierce, I'm, I'm dead anyways. All right, cool. They're so close to just actually hard casting Xander. That's hilarious. Oh, there we go. A Bolus, that helps. Oh, land, that doesn't help. All right, so I can dis I have to discard half, round it down, but at the point where I would have to discard three, um, I think that, oh, never mind. We're good. I'm really hoping they don't, uh, get rid of my, uh, expressive iteration here, because I'm dead if they do. Opponents mulliganed, uh, quite, oh, they're, they're the, uh, Tybalt's trickery. Okay, so I need to find Thoughtseize, fast. All right. They, we're dead if we don't find a discard spell here. We're dead if we don't have a, like, if they cast it. Uh, we hope they miss. It's the best I can do. Oh, okay. That's actually, oddly, not the worst thing to have happened. Let me see here. So, she's at seven. So, that's two, four, six. Okay, so I can wait, and then and then I kill it. Cool. Five, six. All right, cool. And now they have to start over. Please don't have another one. Please don't have another one. There's no way you have another one. No way you do? Unreal. Okay, I gotta beat two of these. Oh god, I'm oh. Oh god, I forgot it's a flame walker. Okay. I'm not actually dead though. Yet. Okay, let's see here. Okay. 
Because I can play Bolas, kill it. That's fine. They make me discard, I'll just discard like Dark Dwellers or something like that. Actually, I'll get rid of Ravager. Okay, that's fine with me. Play Bolas. Kill. And now let's start. Okay, now we can play a game here, right? We got a game now. Was able to beat that. They do have Ugin hanging there, so that is a concern. They have five mana. Got it. Go for it. Shatter, make them uh, get back a... Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Oh, no, it has protection from multicolor. Okay, so let's do this. Sweet. And now we can go ahead and Coligan's command. Make them discard, bring back Bolus. Ulamog. Okay, so they're three lands away, two lands away. Let's see what they do here. I think they're going to run out of cards here pretty soon. Perfect. Now we go Dark Dwellers. Make them discard. And then bring back a creature. So bring back my Bolus, make them a discard. Beautiful. Just what I wanted. And now that should be it. GG. Well, I'll keep. We have removal. All right. God, Xander's like, the Triumphs are so good. Oh, they've been like the best thing to happen. All right, Giada. Giada's gonna have to eat it immediately. Okay, so it's Angels with Coco. Collected Kaka time. This gives me loot, this destroy. Yeah, you know what? Let's grab that. Prismari command into hand. Blood Crypt, uh, or I mean, K command into deck. And then Blood Crypt to play. All right, so I don't know how we beat that, but I guess we try to block it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Best I can do. I gotta draw a Thotsies or something soon, or I'm, I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble here. And or find a Sweeper, of course. Shadow's Verdict would be huge. Collected Kaka. Uh-oh. Surely they'll just miss, right? They'll just miss. Get, like, two Speaker of the Heavens. Or, like, a Giada and a Speaker of the Heavens. Okay, they didn't miss at all, actually. They got the best things they could have gotten in their deck. All right, well, here it is. 44 health out of nowhere, casually. Seems good. That's so bad. Let's draw two and make a treasure. That's so bad. Oh, my God, that's bad. All right, um, hot dog. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about this, so. I didn't draw any of my removal. Well, oh yeah, you know what? Why not Coco again? I mean, you already popped off so hard. Why not do it again? Dude, they got like the best thing they could have gotten. Holy hell, my face, it hurts. All right, all right, you got me. GG's, GG's. Oh, yeah. All right, so mono red, comfortably. We have life gain, right? Sure we do. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, what do they do next? Probably like Viashino or Earthshaker Kenra. Holy heckin' hey. That's a pretty good one. I think I... Can I afford to shock Thoughtseize? Oh, no, never mind. This solves a lot of things. Let's Thoughtseize. Yeah, all right. Uh, you got some cards. You've got cards. Which one do I want to kill? Ah, uh, you know, I want them to exile one more thing. No way. That's so good. Pop off. I gotta kill one of these. At least one of these other Shaker Kenras. So I take three of them down to 11. Okay, that's actually not bad. I think I'm gonna blow up. Yeah, I'll blow up the Kenra. Actually, you know what? I think I might have to blow up the Bomat Courier. And hope I find something to draw this turn, like to do. Oh, that's so bad. Okay, that's that's real bad. I have no sweeper, no nothing. Taking five, seven. Yeah, I'm dead. Good game. Oh, I guess there's a chance, right? Oh, right. Yeah, they get to Embercleave. Good game. This looks like it's going to be some form of a control matchup because it's got Yorion. So let's see how we do. All right, so it's got something to do with Zagoth Triome. See if I can catch them slipping in some way. Oh, it, it might just be Saltimatum. Like, yeah, they're just ramping up to Saltimatum. Can't stop that, so whatever, go ahead. Like, them keeping Prosperous Innkeeper doesn't do anything. Unless they have... Yeah, okay. Can't stop that either. 
They're ramping, sure. They didn't even want to attack. Let's look for a Thought Seize. Okay, there you go. That's guaranteed to land. That's one, two, three, four. I think I'm going to get Ashiok. Put that back. Do that. Let's Thought Seize. Let's see what they're working with. Prime Speaker. So, yeah, that seems pretty good for them. All right, let's get rid of that. So, they're trying to pod and do some nonsense. Okay. Luckily, we don't, like, really... Uh, maybe we should, though. We should be playing the Mirror Breaker thing, I think. It just makes sense, right? What is that? So, that's a 3-3? Three, three? Sure. Seems good. Unless they have another pod target. But good news is I'm able to take care of Prime Speaker with Katose, like, permanently. How does this read? X or less. Put it on the battlefield and shuffle your library. I guess I may as well go dig for my fifth mana and pass. Like, they'll be able to sack the innkeeper and look for something with one less. It's a one drop? Is there a one drop I'm, I'm like, missing here that would just completely blow me out of this game? One mana less and blows me out of the game. I'm very curious what it is. I hope it doesn't happen, but... Oh, X or less. Okay. Oh, right. They can do it for X or less. Oops. Haven't seen this card in a while. So I have to get rid of whatever it is. Okay. Prime Speaker is going to have to die. Let it grow, I guess. I drew a land like a natural gamer. Let's exile it. And now I can go and rip like with Katose. Assuming that things don't get weird. All right. No more Katos, like no more Prime Speaker nonsense, or at least ideally, unless this like gets countered or something like that. So they have the Industry Titan of Industry. They can pod their way up. They're three six seven. Okay, that's pretty good actually. Holy cow! And they're gonna blink it. Mmm, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's six mana. They have three, six, seven with the the goose, so they'll play it. The uh, the titan. So how do I get rid of that? How do I just kill it? I guess I could play a land, ping it for one, so it takes one damage, right? Permanent or would be dealt damage or destroyed. Remove a shield counter instead. Cool. All right, cool. Pick that off so they can't blink it and do nonsense with it. I have a Katose to trade. And then when they play Yorion, I guess I go and play Dark Dwellers. Dark Dwellers targets Maestro's Charm. Oh, no, unless they have an answer. If they have an answer, I lose Bolas, and then we're in a very bad place. Looks like they do. Okay. Prosperous Innkeeper. Four mana. I have to keep this Bolas. This Bolas is how I stay in the game. Oh... No way! They drew the one thing! The one creature! That's so good, whatever. Wow, nice. So good, so good. You're the best. The best there ever was. I could Thought Seize that. That'd be kind of good. Then I don't have to deal with them blinking any shenanigans. Yeah, okay. Let's just Thought Seize that. Get rid of the Sky Noodle. Sit back. We want to trade with Dark Dweller. Trade the Dark Dwellers in with the Rhino. Destroy Chupacabra plus return Dark Dwellers. Cool. I'm surprised they didn't want to get more damage in, to be honest. Actually, I want to get rid of what they draw, right? And return my Dark Dwellers that way. Yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. So they don't have a Fiend Artisan anymore. I take four, five. I'm down to seven. So two and get back a creature. So blow up Chupacabra. Oh, even better. You'll love to see that. You'll love to see that. And it gets rid of everything. And they're all gone. All right, so I have Dark Dwellers in hand. They're probably gonna hold on to cards soon. I might. Let me see here, what do they have? Industry. Play Goblin Dark Dwellers. 
Get back a creature. Let's go expressive iteration. In the hand, in the deck, uh, whatever. One less of a fatal push, I guess. I could have gotten back something with Katose. Actually, getting Katose would have guaranteed me a Titan of Industry. That's actually pretty good. Oh, that also works too. I'll take that, sure. Dark Dwellers gives me another shot at it, and I'll pass. All right, now if they play like Agent of Treachery, that's not too bad, because then I get to blow it up. They have a lot of cards to work through. Oh, even better. It's probably like a land, right? Cool. Yeah, it's a land. Coligan's Command. Make them discard. Return Katose. Uh, discard a card. Return a creature. I'll get Katose back. Get rid of you. So now I'm guaranteed to have another body. They don't get... Three, six, seven, eight. They could draw something nice here, but I don't know what saves them. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, cool. So we're gonna just get there on the back of two Dark Dwellers. Some good old mid-range grinding. All right. Mono red again. All right. People like being aggressive. I think I'm gonna hold up my black mana here. I want to be able to, like, ping something or pick it off with a Fatal Push. Earthshaker Kenra. All right. They're going to shake it a little bit. Okay. Well, let's just save ourselves time here. I'm going to go ahead and play Steam Vents Tapped. This should allow me to then not take a thousand damage from this opponent. Uh, I can go ahead and cling to Dust. Earthshaker. I got to watch out for four mana god. H Haketra or whatever. I, I forgot the name already. Ferocidon. All right, good. I'm gonna do this now. Can I take that much damage? That's a lot of damage. You know what? That's fine. I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna Coligan's Command, blow up Fervent Champion, make him discard a card. Next turn, go ahead and use March of Wretched Sorrow. All right, so they discarded a burn spell. That's good for us. Then this turn, I can go ahead and blow up... Uh, the, the Rampaging Ferocidon. Oh, that card's annoying. Oh, that card's a super annoying. All right. Yep, pass. Let's do this now. Let's see if they pay the one. I want to cut their mana off before they draw something. Sure, that makes sense. No life gain for me. All right, I, I need to draw a land here, and then hopefully... Oh, no, not this nonsense. Okay. Yeah, it seems good. Yeah, yeah, another damage. Ooh, I don't think I'm thought seizing myself this turn. Into hand. Into deck. All right, this is actually really good. This is going to give me the opportunity here to bounce the Roiling Vortex. And then discard it with the thought seize I do have in hand. Assuming that I get another land, of course, but not much I can do about that. Rampaging Ferocidon again. Okay. They really don't like the idea of life gain. <laughs> I guess I'm getting shocked or burnt or something like that. Although in reality, they probably shouldn't do that. They should just wait. Although if they empty hand, if they go empty handed, that's kind of good for us. So I get a just free bounce of Roiling Vortex and don't actually have to Thought Seize. What am I looking at here? I mean, they... Oh, perfect. So they went empty-handed. That's amazing. Okay, cool. So I could just get to bounce Roiling Vortex. Seems good. Oh, that's that's so good for us. Okay. And so now Ashiok will bounce the Roiling Vortex back to their hand. Exile the Vortex. Sure, seems good. All right. Yep, 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 yep. I think there could be a better creature, so I'm going to just wait a little bit. Let's just hope they don't draw another one. Like, I'm in trouble if they draw another one. They have some creatures in the yard that I will gladly cling to dust. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> well, no need for that. Gotta draw a march. I have another march. 
Oh, come on again. Ugh. I have to bounce it. I have to bounce it. I cannot leave them with that card. That card is going to kill us, so it gets the Ashiok removal. I got to put some kind of pressure because... Of, oh, wow. Mill two lands there. You're welcome. You're so welcome. Oh, my God. You're so welcome. Let me guess. You got a haster, didn't you? Oh, please punish me. Tell me I milled you to something that kills me here. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> I milled two lands again. There's just no way, right? Like, I just helped him get rid of four lands. Wow, that feels so bad. All right, I'm down to five. This is probably like a three damage spell. So I'm down to two after, like, I mean, they go down some lands. Fortunately, I had to throw that bolus away. I wish I had a Coligan's command. I could have made him discard and like done something else. But uh, let me guess, missiles plus a uh, two damage spell. Oh, that's so good here. Oh my gosh. Into hand, into deck and uh, let them know that I could play that. Please don't mill any more of the lands. Just hit, hit their good stuff. Okay, cool, thank you. I mean, I'm fully tapped out. They can probably put me down to two here. Two or three, all of them are uncomfortable for me, but I do have this Maestro's Charm, so hopefully I get to untap. If I untap here, I think we, we can win this. Oh, oh, this is scary. There's so many things that they could keep here. If they keep it on top, it ha they're thinking about it, so it's not lethal, because I'm tapped out. I don't have anything to do. They have to think this hard. I think you should just bottom it. There you go. All right, let's just hope they don't draw anything that kills us here, because that would make me very sad. Every time, every time, I swear to God, every game. So it seems that the meta is pretty fast and very aggressive in best of one between all of the Tybalt's trickeries and the nonstop Winotas. And uh, yeah, like it, we've also got mono red. So I think we do need to tune our list to be way more efficient at dealing with aggro. Uh, I think right now we're trying to play what is a fair game really. Uh, and, and can only be like in best of three. So I think my list is definitely off, uh, at least for best of one. So we'll go ahead and see if I can get something uh, functioning in best of one here because we kind of got torched right off the right off the bat here with against so many decks. So uh, yeah, back to the drawing board. Thanks so much for watching this video. And as always, I do appreciate y'all supporting the content uh, on from me and all of them, TG Goldfish crew. Uh, and as always, you can find me on social media at the Asian Avenger and of course, twitch.tv slash the Asian Avenger. So I'll see y'all soon and hopefully with a camera. So uh, talk to y'all then.